Do you remember Lightscribe? No? Well, I don't blame you. Let's see why it could have been great. Okay, so Lightscribe is a CD technology created by HP, which allows you to laser etch labels onto your CDs as an alternative to printing or sticking labels to a CD. I'm gonna go over a few brief uh, historical bits about that, and then some positives, negatives, and how it works. Let's get to it. Okay, so Lightscribe was thought up and developed by HP engineer Daryl Anderson and Macarand Gore, and it was brought out in 2004. A cool technology that allowed users to laser etch images to a CD, allowing for fully customizable labels for your media in grayscale and fairly quickly. Label Flash came out in 2005 as a competitor to Lightscribe. There is not any Lightscribe Blu-ray CDs, so dual layer DVD-Rs are so far the highest capac capacity that you can actually get for it. Now, as time goes on, most companies started to phase out and discontinue Lightscribe since around about June 2013. Since November 2013, Lightscribe.com, the official website, is removed and it had a message that said, Thank you for your interest in the Lightscribe disk labeling technology. The website is no longer active. Lightscribe software and disk utilities may be found on a number of public websites. But now if you go there, you just get redirected to HP because, um, well, HP were the ones who first made it. Now for some positives, it's quick label making for your CDs. It wasn't much more expensive than standard CDs um, and it was built into many pre-built computers and laptops. I did have a laptop that had the sticker on the CD drive. Not that I knew what it was at the time, but it was there and um, a lot of people did have it, even if they didn't know that it. Some negatives, it required a specific Lightscribe CD burner. So if you did have an older PC, then chances are you probably didn't have it and there was no color for the CDs. On top of that, if you wanted to try it now, it's, uh, it's dead. So there, there's no support for it whatsoever right now, unless you can come across some really old forums. How Lightscribe works is you burn the CD onto one side, you take that CD out of the tray, flip it over, put it back into the tray so that the label side is face down and it has a barcode around the ring. There's an extra two little dots on the Lightscribe uh, CD trays. And what that does is it finds out where the CD is as it spins. Once it knows where it is, it will spin and it will burn the image of the CD, starting from the inwards, going to outwards. It will take the same amount of time if you had one line down the middle as if you had the whole CD uh, labeled. Um, but if you did have one label in the middle like that, then it would kind of scan up and start printing and then scan up to the top and that'd be it. So to conclude, Lightscribe was the technology used mainly during the late 2000s, which never really took off. It was a great idea as it allowed people to create labels quickly and efficiently uh, for writing media for only a fraction more in cost. However, in my opinion, even CDs are dying out nowadays. Uh, not many people do burning of CDs anymore, as far as I know, and, and eventually it's not something that just like, like no one's gonna be using anymore. So there we have it, a cool technology that came at the right time but just for some reason didn't take off. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, and if not, a thumbs down. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you'd like me to do next, and I'll see you guys in the next video.